been waiting for this day for weeks. So I am finally skating the backyard ramp after all of the modifications that I made and upgrades and new paint. Um, the last few weeks, you know, I, I've built this ramp and it was a great ramp until it started raining. And then I realized really quickly that I need to weatherproof it. So if you've seen any of the previous videos, you know that I went through and painted the ramp and sealed the ramp, put a second layer of plywood on the ramp. Now um, I went through and fixed the decks. So the decks were starting to warp a little bit. So I replaced the existing plywood with three quarter inch plywood on each of the decks. I also swapped out the coping. So the coping that I installed initially was uh, half inch and, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch. And I went with two inch coping this time. So new coping on both sides, new decks. I went and did a fresh coat of paint on the decks, uh, cleaned up a bit of the uh, main surface area. I've let it cure for a week. I'm feeling good about it. It is super hot, but this is going to be the test to see if the ramp actually works the way that I hope it does. So I am still on the 909s. This is probably my last session on the 909s before I go to something else. These skates have served me pretty well. Um, I think I was a big fan of the 908s. I think anybody who liked the 908s is going to like the 909s. The big modification that I made is I swapped out that Intuition liner. So I had real sizing issues with the Intuition. I feel like the size that was provided uh, for like a V1 or a V2 Intuition is very misleading. The Intuition liners that come in the Them 909s are different sizes than the Intuition liners that uh, they sell separately, the V1 and the V2. They are a bit shorter. And what that means for a guy like me with a 28.5 centimeter foot, I'm going to be too short to fit into the Them Intuition. So I'm not giving up. I've had a lot of people asking if they can buy my liners. No, I'm not giving up. I'm not selling the liners yet. But uh, I am going to swap them out now with the Rain V3s. I skated these a little bit last week. I really like this fit, but I didn't really get a chance to skate them very much. I was skating a really fresh ledge at a uh, park that was busy, so I didn't have an opportunity to really skate them. Not that this is gonna give me much uh, feedback either. I'm a really uh, sub-average uh, mini ramp skater, but uh, I know that these skates are gonna hold up because I'm able to skate with them it's the liners that the different that makes the difference, and I think that this setup with this Rain V3 liner for me, the Fitty Fitty frames and the 909 is going to be really great for most people. So my three things that I want to do today. First off, you know it's been a while since I've skated the mini ramp, uh, so I want to do all of my tricks. I want to do backside and frontside, back royale, front royale. I want to do soul grind. I want to do uh, Mizu. And I want to do uh, topsole and kind grind. Topsole and kind grind are new to me, but I want to see if I can do them all. I'm going to push myself uh, to get all of those tricks in and just see what this mini ramp feels like. The second thing, I really want to try to air the extension. There's a really nice, like it's a four foot extension over in one side. I'm horrible at airs, but I'd love to get a nice little mute grab up uh, above the coping over there. It's something that I've done in the past but I feel like this ramp, the way that it is now with the paint and with the second layer of plywood is gonna be really solid. And I feel like I'll be able to air more consistently. So I'm gonna to try to do a nice big mute grab. And then the third trick. So this month's blading community challenge is the mistrial. Or if you don't know mistrials and you haven't been able to learn mistrials yet, uh, the backside. I have both tricks. So what I'd like to do is a backside to mistrial switch up. I'm going to try to do it on this coping. I have my hip pads on. <laughs> Usually I don't skate with them. Usually I just skate with my uh, knee shin guards. But today I'm wearing my hip pads because I have a feeling I'm going to miss the coping a lot and slide down on my hips. But a backside to mistrial is the goal. Wish me luck.
All right, the ramp feels amazing. Super fast, super solid. Um, that second sheet really made a difference. And uh, yeah, the paint feels great. Feels, again, fast. Um, I waxed the coping a little bit because I'm an idiot and it's pretty slippery. So um, I don't know that it's a bad thing, but I probably should have tried it before waxing it. Um, you could see on the first drop in, I kind of slipped out just trying to drop into the ramp because my foot wasn't ready for the coping to be slippery, um, which I'm an idiot, but uh, don't wax coping unless you need to. That's the lesson, kids. Um, anyway, uh, feels good. I'm going to do uh, some royals and back royals. The slippery coping is helping with royales. <laughs> I can get completely boot down on that royale. Back royale is a little more difficult. Uh, like I need to charge it a little bit more, carve it a little more, and the ramp isn't super wide for that. But forward royale, I can squash. A um, couple interesting observations. So I wasn't able to do that with uh, the intuition liners. I think the, the V3 is much more forgiving for me, probably more, probably less supportive, but I don't know that that's a bad thing for doing grinds. Um, I'm still riding the cuff up, so I haven't adjusted it down. I figured that I wanted to give it a good session before I tweak the cuff, so I'll probably skate again next week with the cuffs down. But yeah, these are feeling great, um, absolutely great. I don't know what they look like, but they feel like I'm completely boot down on my front royale. And uh, yeah, no, uh, no complaints here. Feels solid. <sighs> All right, uh, soul tricks, I guess. I'm a little worried about soul tricks on this ramp because the transition, the height is so low that when you do soul tricks, you really got to get over it. And I'm sure I'll do it, but it's not going to feel right. But here we go. <laughs> All right, wasn't that bad. Uh, soles are fast, but yeah, not bad. Uh, Mizu, look at that. I haven't done a Miz in a mini ramp in a long time. Felt great. Um, trying to do kind grind on the way back. Brand new trick, so it's gonna take a little bit for me to get used to it, but I feel like I can do it. All right, top sides. Start with the top sole and then come back and do kind grind again. Feeling good today. All right, topsail feel good. Took a bit, but I feel like I locked it. That carve is so important. Getting the right angle so that the momentum throws me on top of the coping, not on top of the deck. I can see some areas where I'm not really sure what to do with the deck, but the paint is definitely going to get scraped off. I'm not sure if that's a put another coat of paint on whenever I fall, because that seems, that seems unscalable. But um, yeah, it feels good. Um, kind grind, I locked that really solid, but I wasn't ready for it. Pretty tired, to be honest. It's in the 90s already, 
and uh, I'm just dripping. So I'm hiding in the shade right here. Um, I think I'm gonna skip kind grind this week. I think I got it, but I want to get to uh, I want to get to the air and the uh, uh, the backside to Mistral. So maybe kind grind after I land all those. But I know I've got kind grind. I just don't. I don't think I have it right now. All right, gonna try this air. It's uh, it's fun, but I'm gonna have a lot of speed coming down, so I don't know where I'm gonna go. With this coping being waxed, it's gonna be really fast, and I can see, I can see myself flying off the edge. <laughs> oh well. All right, airs are scary, but I feel like I got that one really clean. Um, I don't think it was very high, but I definitely got that mute. Solid grab, solid tweak, as they used to call it. Um, yeah, a lot of speed coming down, but I wish this was wider. <laughs> Someday, maybe. All right, backside to mistrial. Wish me luck. Oh my God, I didn't think I could do that. But the last one felt good. Um, I wish the ramp was wider for stuff like this. Doing switch ups on 12 feet of which I'm grinding maybe eight feet is not my style, not as much fun. But I made it work. If it were longer, I would have slid it. Especially that one where I kind of stalled out. If it were longer, I would have slid. Um, thanks for watching. If, uh, if you're following my uh, Back to Blading Helmet Initiative, um, if you left a comment in the last video, check your comments, check your YouTube notifications. I left a comment for a lucky winner who's going to get a helmet. Um, if you've won in the past, the helmets are on their way. I'm sorry it's taking so long. Um, I've ordered them, but obviously with the sub global supply chain being slow also means helmets are slow. Rest assured, I have your name, I have your address, I have your size. They will be going out to you, um, and I'll confirm as soon as I send them. But if you need a helmet this week, um, I got plenty of helmets, so I'm going to keep doing this as much as I can. Um, please, uh, wear a helmet when you skate. It's very important. Um, even if you're just doing something stupid, like grinding a P-rail, wear a helmet. Like, the amount of damage you can do to your head by hitting it just accidentally, just running into something, just tripping over something, um, could put you in a hospital for a while, and it could kill you. Um, it, it seems dramatic, but it's, it's true. I have friends who have been in the hospital in the last few months as a result of not wearing a helmet, and the trick wasn't what got them, it was the landing, it was being stupid. If you don't have a helmet and you want a helmet, if, you know, helmets are like 50, 60 bucks. If you don't have the money right now for a helmet, let me know. Um, we will be giving away one helmet for every video that I make. 
Uh, I pick somebody at random every video, and I will get in touch with you and send you a helmet. Um, thanks so much for watching. Be safe out there. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.